Welcome everybody to another Wild West metal detecting adventure with the Key Date Kid. We're in a mining ghost town today, a Irish mining ghost town. Got a little green on, hopefully for some good luck. Um, we got Matthew with us today. We've been here for about five minutes and he's got a target. Let's check it out. I think it's a buff. A buffalo? All oh, right there, huh? Let's check it out. What is it? It is a buffalo. Buffalo nickel. Oh, nice, dude. 1917. Don't see a mint mark on it. You'll have to let us know. Green, beautiful buff. Sweet. Nice find, bro. Thanks. Dude, that was quick. That was. Right on. All right, guys, it's it's rained recently out here, so that helps with the uh, conductivity and compresses the dirt a little bit. You get a little bit more depth. Um, we got a target here. Let's let's uh, check it out together. It was a 20 to 23 on the Knox with the Excalibur shovel went in. What is it? It's a Lincoln. Is it old? It is, it's a wheat, wheat scent. We'll get a date and we'll let you know in the wrap up. Right on, got a coin in the ghost town. Ah, oh, it's such a great feeling because they are so difficult to hunt. So it feels really good to get one, right on. Alright guys, looks like we got a, a relic. Let's check it out. Some brick and foundations and whatnot. Look at this thing. It's even got the pin on the back still. Cool. Sweet relic. All right, guys. Um, working in these uh, old foundations, you can see the walls have fallen, the brick walls. Um, you can see you got the foundation, and then the the bricks are all over here. It's a foundation. Got like a 22 to 26 bouncing around. Um, it's nestled in here. This is exactly how it was. So check it out. Oh, it's an Indian. One cent, baby, yes. 1884, 1884 Indian, yes. Matthew got an Indian too, and I'm sure he's probably onto something else by now, but 1884 Indian, and it's in, you know, fine condition, so right on, stoked. Woohoo! Keep hunting the foundation. All right, guys, um, the Indian was right in here and we just continued to work this foundation here. And we got the Excalibur right here. Um, we got a 26, 26 banging. It might be good right on the corner of the foundation. Um, check it out. says one dime I 
got my it's silver. We got silver. It's a nineteen twelve. Plane. 1912 Barber Dime. Oh, it's beautiful. XF condition. Oh my gosh. Yes. Right out of the foundation, baby. All right. Well, that just made my day. Right on. All right, guys. Um, got an epic eye find. Check this out. Look at that marble. Wow. That is a beauty. That is sweet. This town was was gone by 1940, so this marble's older than that, and it looks pretty special, so it might have some value. We'll research it and we'll let you guys know. Right on. All right, guys, hunting up around this privy here you can see here just a it was an outhouse in this area and there's some remnants of it um got a target over here scooped out to here i think we might have yeah we do a ring look at that and the gold guild is still on the inside but that's a that's a wedding band i'm sure gold plated there's where it connected so we old wedding band right on wow cool all right guys so we got um, matthew just hunting just right over here but anyways uh we got a couple signals there might be a couple here uh but uh let's check it out down into here another Indian eighteen ninety nine Indian beautiful coin right on another coin baby eighteen hundreds two of them today Sweet. All right, guys, working, working through these uh, these ash pits. Got a target. Hold it out. And it looks like that's a saddle, like a horse's saddle. And it says compliments of Los Angeles saddlery. Something on it. That's an epic relic, right on, woohoo. That is so cool. We'll research it and we'll let you know more about it in the, in the wrap up, right on. All right guys, working the, the store foundation here um, with Matthew. Um, give you a look here at it. Big foundation. They plastered the walls. But went in right about here, chipped down to here, and it looks like I think that's going to be an Indian. It looks really old. I think it has a two on it, bro. It has a two, a number two, it looks like. We'll clean it up and let you guys know in the wrap-up video. All right, guys, welcome to the wrap-up video. It turns out this guy right here, this is a, it's a horse saddle, but it was a, this was a pocket watch fob, and there used to be a piece that went across right here at the top, 
but you can kind of see it's been broken off and that would have been where the, the leather strap was um, but on the back it says compliments Los Angeles Saddle, Saddlery and Finding Co it's got a little neat or, ornate design there but you can see across right here to there it uh, it broke off but still a good looking relic a great display piece to show um, early 1900s uh, 1900 1910 around there a really cool piece here's the pin obviously those are all faux but it's a neat old pin that's still caught everything to it pretty much and check out that marble what a good looking marble it's bigger than most of them too it's sitting out there in that that desert clay pretty cool We'll start with coins now. Got a 1919 wheat cent here. It's that crusty on the back. Got an Indian. 1899. Great patina. One cent. Cool. I thought this was an 84, but I looked closer and cleaned this coin up a little bit. And as you can see, it's an 1894 Indian head penny. That's a cool look to it there with the copper with the patina on there. That's really cool. One cent. Beautiful Indian 1800s ghost town coin. And then we got this. This was from the last part of the video. And this is a 19... As you can see, 1911 to Heller, and it's from Austria. And you can see it's like a double-headed eagle or something on there. But pretty cool ghost town foreign coin, 1911. I soaked this in some lime away for a minute and scrubbed it to get some of that build up off of it and, and it worked but you don't want to go too far on them you'll have nothing left beautiful coin though Austria and we got the ghost town silver here beautiful coin 1912 Barber Dime. It's a plane, no mint mark, Philadelphia. But it sounded wonderful when I heard it. Good looking coin. And it turns out this ring. is a tarnished I didn't think it could happen to gold <laughs> 14 karat gold ring from the ghost town can you believe that a ghost town gold ring and as you can see in there 14k I might just get this one rounded out and wear it wear it as a prize
Ghost Town Gold Ring. That's a beautiful thing right there. I'd never found a, a gold ring in a ghost town, so that's a first. Pretty amazing. And this one's old. So, super happy to have it. Super lucky to get a bucket list or ghost town gold ring. Um, anyways, y'all, I appreciate y'all watching, and until next time, happy hunting.